What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to our Seattle Kraken franchise mode, and we're in the semifinals up against our kryptonite, the Edmonton Oilers. Um, this does not look to be a favorable matchup for us. We're really going to have to hunker down and play really solid hockey or games here. I'm expecting this one to either be over quickly for an Edmonton victory, or if we're going to win, this is this probably will go the distance. Um, taking a look at the Edmonton Oilers lineup, I can I understand why they are where they are. Um, however, I do think our team has a slight advantage over them offensively. Leon Dreisaitl with Connor McDavid uh, and Kayla Yamamoto. Fantastic first line. This team, this first line is going to put up plenty of points for them. Second line, Alexander Malkin with Anton Lundell and Yuri Krivichenko. That's a great second line. I think our second time, second line is a little bit better than theirs, though. Third line is uh, Jackie Duclair with Jack Roslevic and Jesse Paul Harvey. I'll give I I'll give them a slight advantage on the third line there, and then fourth line they have the advantage with uh, Stelio Matias, Nick Suzuki, and Alexander Texier. Um, so we it's really the middle, second third line where we're where we are probably going to see a lot more offensive firepower on our team. Um, defensively, they have Evan Bouchard with Connor Timmins, Bode Wild, uh, Bodie Wild with Marcus Peterson, and Vladislav uh, Gavrikov with Callan Addison. So their defense, no one's defense in the league is going to be as good as ours or look as nice as ours, but they still have a solid defensive core. Goaltender, they have Jor the veteran Jordan Binghamton. Kind of on his last stretch, 35 years of age, 82 years, uh, 32 years old. Uh, he might be playing up until he's in his 40s, depending on uh, if he can keep up with the progression that's the same as the digression. Uh, but let's simulate on up. All right. Game number one, home in Seattle, boys. Come on. Power play Seattle. There it is. Jake Bertanen scoring on Binghamton. But then Kaylor Yamamoto, their first line, are going to bounce back, tying the game up 1-1. Edmonton gets a power play. We're able to kill that off. Come on, boys, put another one in the back of the net. We're not going to do that. So at the end of one, Vertanen and Yamamoto, both getting goals for the club. All right, 1-1 one, one game. Shots are 17-9 in favor of Seattle. So Binghamton playing some good hockey. He's playing good hockey right now. Ah, come on, boys. Bounce back strong. Come on. Barry won. Power play Edmonton. And Nick Suzuki is going to score a power play goal, followed by Jacques Duclair. Oh, my God. Oh, don't make it so. Come on, Seattle. We need one. There it is. Kaharia on the third line going to score one for us. And then Peltier, the fourth line right winger. Yes, boys, battling back. That is what these two teams do when they match up against each other. It's a back and forth matchup. First one team's in the lead, then the other bounces back, tying it up and takes the lead themselves. This is how it goes. This is how this always works. All right, the shots are 26 to 18, still in favor of us, but Binghamton, He's playing better than Vosner, man. He's playing better than Vosner. All right, third period. Come on, Seattle. We need to get the first goal here. I don't want to play from behind, boys. Halfway through the third period. Neither team giving an inch. Power play, Edmonton. No good. And we're going to jump on in and watch who's going to be getting the golden goal. It's not really the golden goal, though. No, no, they're not really. Who's going to give us the lead in this series, all right? Which team's going to take the lead? Who's going to give their team the lead, all right? That's what I mean. You... All right, so here we are. Period number three, six minutes remaining. Zeller's going to lose the faceoff. Addison for Edmonton carrying it in over to Rozovic. Rozovic pinned along the boards. Merkley carrying it back into his zone. Curls packing it over to Dahlin. Dahlin... Battled on by Dreisaitl, and Zeller is going to be the one that walks away with it. Zeller skating in and trying to get around the defenseman, still with it, pinned along the boards. Loose puck, Kaylor Yamamoto hit. Loose puck again, Yamamoto picks it up, passing over to Dreisaitl. Pokes low into the corner of Edmonton's zone, Addison up to Yamamoto. Yamamoto hit off that puck. 
Connor McDavid passing in wide and missing. Here comes Seattle. Peltier trying to cut up the middle. Poked off that puck. Addison picks it up for uh, Edmonton. Roslevic getting around the defender possibly. Trying to pass it wide. Not happening. Still with it. Passing over to Kurchchenko. Kravachenko down wide. The Russian up front. 1-T saved by Vosner. Novoletsev up to Vertanen. Here we go. Let's go Vertanen. Deeks one way out to the other. Vertanen still looking for someone. He found someone but goes right back to him over. Hurdle, hurdle, low shot. Blocked. Let's go. Come on. Battle for that puck. Battle for that puck, boys. Man, Bouchard passing up to Lundell for Edmonton. Come on, Seattle. Come on. Let's get some offense. Pressure. Hit him off that puck. That could, definitely could have been interference. Thankfully it wasn't. Stutzel. Wide to Hurdle. The captain, Hurdle. Gets around defenseman. Over to DeBrusque. DeBrusque. Shoots. Save. Hurdle now. Still with it. Backhand shoots. Wide though. Come on. You're right in front of that net. You got to score. Duclair up to Addison. Who passes to Baharvey. Baharvey. Pokes. Still with it. Got around defenseman. He's hit off that puck. Jake Bean now. Skates it up. Losing it to Duclair. Over to Baharvey. Baharvey on a breakaway. Backhander. Save. Merkley. Over to Bean. Bean over to Galchenik. Galchenik to Hewitt. Hewitt trying to get around the defender. Stops. Looking for somebody. Hit off that puck. Duclair to Roslevic. Roslevic caught up from behind. Addison picking it up. Passing wide to Harvey. Harvey poked off. And Evan Bouchard is going to take it offside with 1.5 seconds left in the third. So that should be it, boys. This game most definitely is, more, is going to be over. All right, it's going to be over here. Kerfoot, swinging back to Bean, yep. Going on into overtime. Jake Bean getting hit. Not liking it, but he just shakes his head like, okay. All right, we'll see. So Jake Bean going to go into overtime, hopefully with a little bit of an edge on his shoulder. Overtime, yep. That's what this series is going to be about. Overtime periods constantly. This is our biggest rival, the Edmonton Oilers. So going into overtime, we are out shooting them still. First line versus first line. Let's go. McDavid versus Stutzel. Stut Stutzel loses the faceoff. Bouchard to Yamamoto. Over to McDavid. McDavid staying in wide to dry settle shot. Save. Darlene picks it up. Over to Vertanen. Vertanen. Gets absolutely demolished. Dry settle coming in. Curls back, trying to find someone. Wide open was Connor McDavid. Yep, Edmonton came out flying there. And they got the goal. They got the goal in overtime. Of course they fucking did. Oh my god. No passing of the puck on our team when we had it. Didn't try to clear the zone. We gave it up. Look, didn't even cover McDavid. What the fuck, Dali? Franchise defenseman should be able to guard a franchise centerman like that. You look like you, you weren't even like in the focus. You weren't even focused, man. Whatever. We lose game one in overtime, four to three. <sighs> Third star of the game goes to Leon Dreisaitl. Two, uh, two assists and three hits. Uh, he had a good edge work there for that final goal. Second star of the game goes to Kayla Yamamoto. One goal and one assist. First star goes to Connor McDavid. One goal, one assist, and one hit. Great work, boys. You guys played absolutely fucking phenomenally. No idea how proud I am of you guys losing that game in fucking overtime. Oh, uh, it's fine though. It's behind us. It's behind us. It's behind us. All right. We lost. We lose one game a series. It's no big. It's no big deal. All right. Taking a look at the draft class this year. No more franchise players. But however, we do have a gem here. Malik Gurin, a center sniper, medium elite, right-handed. He's 17 years old, six foot one, from the USA. But he's not a good. Ski no one's ever our fucking scheme fit for these forwards. All right. 
So game number two, we're still in Seattle. We still have home ice advantage. It's fine. Just tie the series up right here. Power play Seattle right off the bat. Not going to score. Okay. Boys, we need to get the first goal. Get the first goal right now. Right now. All right. No, I was kidding. Now. Oh, okay. No. It was never. How about now? Uh, not going to be there either. All right. Power play Seattle. And that's going to be killed off again for Edmonton. Shot 17 to 11. Real big goaltender battle. All right. If we're going to beat Edmonton, we're going to need Vosner to step his game up. To a level be even beyond him. All right, he needs to be Carey Price, uh, Patrick Waugh. We're gonna need Ben Bishop. You know, we need you to be a solid goaltender. Just don't get hurt. All right, don't be Ben Bishop like injury prone though. Whew, come on, boys, let's go. Come on, get the goal. Get the goal. There it is. Our captain, Tomas Hurdle. Then a power play goes to Seattle. No good. Edmonton, five on three power play. Killed off. Power play again for Seattle. Nothing happening on any of those power plays, but we got a one goal lead. Thanks to our captain. Then a power play goal by Mike Hewitt. Nick Suzuki going to score, get, making it only a one goal lead now. But our captain steps up big, and then our big time goal scorer scores as well. That's what we need. That's how we're going to get these victories. Goals, boys. Goals. All right. So, Edmonton is down 2-1. to one. So, one goal lead to us. Let's defend this lead. Maybe extend it. Let's get one more goal just for insurance, Seattle. One more goal for insurance. Are we going to do it? For me, no. Bodie Wild, though, is going to tie it up for Edmonton. Power play goes to Edmonton now. That is killed off. 2-2 two, two game. Final five minutes again. We got to jump in. All right, guys. Here we are. We're lined up. Zeller going to lose that face off. Puck goes wide. Malkin losing it. On over to Zeller. Skates around in our zone. Zeller trying to find someone. Backhanding it over to Kaharia. Aria over to Gavrikov. Down low goal! Oh, yes! There you are, Jake B filling in the gap for the forward. Steps up and gives us the lead. Jake B. He no longer has to carry this the Seattle defense. We went out, acquired tons of talent. He is in his final year of his contract, too. So he, he's doing everything he can to get a big, massive payday. Something like Darlene in that. I don't know. I, I kind of only want to pay him around like $8 million, maybe. Eight, nine million for Stutzel. I mean, not for Stutzel, for Bean. Stutzel losing it. Timmons poked off. Bouchard over to Yamamoto. Yamamoto clobbered along the board. Stutzel up to Hurdle. Hurdle over to Darlene. Darlene skates it up. Curls back over to Merkley. Merkley over to Hurdle. Hurdle over to Vertanen. Vertanen coming in himself. Trying to find someone to pass to. He's going to get hit off that puck by Bouchard. Battling. Loose puck in front. Stutzel winding up with it. Over to Vertanen. Vertanen down low to Hurdle. He loses it. Bouchard going to pick it up for Edmonton and take it up, this, take it up the ice himself. Cuts out wide. Bouchard down low. Lundell. Perenko shoots. Save. I don't think that was actually Perenko. But for Tannen. Let's go. Skates it up. Goes wide. Gets around a defender. Oh, that is how exactly how it's supposed to work. You're just not supposed to get hit. Fuck. Merkley. Up to DeBrusque. DeBrusque. Comes up the side over to Hewitt. Hewitt shoots. Hits the post. And Binghamton's going to cover. 55.6 seconds remaining here. go let's go boys right here right now Galchenyuk winning back to Reeves here we go Galchenyuk over Reeves one T Hewitt he shoots he scores Declan Reeves gets the assist oh you can't leave Hewitt open on his one T side like that clean win Reeves backhands it on over to Hewitt Cleanly pass Jordan Binghamton. Cleanly right there. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Love that, Mike Hewitt. He's such a good goal scorer. Holy fuck, he's such a good goal scorer. Definitely worth the salary we paid him. I don't know what what's going on with his rating, but he simulates like a guy that that's worth 8.8 .8 million. They're gonna pull their goaltender down by two. 46 seconds left. I won't put it out of the realm of possibility for two goals being scored in 46 seconds. It's just very unlikely, especially with them putting their third line out versus our second. Let's go. Elchenyuk loses the faceoff. Wild over to Pedersen. Low shot. No good. That goes wide. Duclair out front. Poked off that. Hewitt over to Galchenyuk. Galchenyuk skating in himself. He's going to shoot for the empty net. And that's going to hit the side of the net. No good. Pedersen hit off that puck by DeBrus. Rozovic picking it up. Passing it on over. Intercepted. And Duclair intercepted by Gabrowski. Hates it into his own zone. Wide over to Bean. Now over to DeBrusque. DeBrusque to Galchenyuk who shoots for the empty net. And off the post and in. Alex Galchenyuk with the empty net. Securing our victory today. Tying the series up 1-1. That's what I like to see, boys. This is what I like to see. Clean wins. Oh, we got to watch all those goals be scored, too, to give us the lead all the way up to now. That's why I like jumping in the final five minutes when it's this close, because that's kind of all you need for shit to happen. Kerfoot wins it to Reeves. Reeves over to Gabrowski, over to Bean. Bean makes a move over the middle. Bean shot, rebound, no good. Timmons over to Suzuki. Suzuki hit off that puck. Shoots and scores! All right. So Suzuki clap bombs it. Right on through and scores that goal. What the fuck happened there? What a move around Reeves. That's a highlight reel goal. Even though it doesn't even matter, that's on his highlight reel now, Reeves. That's you getting exposed. That is you getting exposed your rookie season, Reeves. Good thing that goal doesn't really matter so we can all kind of just laugh at it. Nice. So just walk out of here, final kind of seconds. Yep, we're just gonna hit him. Walk out of here with a dub. That's what I like, boys. We walk out of here with a dub. It's fine that they scored with like 2.5 seconds left. I don't know why Florida let this goalie go, but it's kind of like Roberto Luongo. They let him go, and now he's one. Of, he's gonna become one of the best goaltenders in the league. Celebrate with our fans, boys. Celebrate with our fans. There you go. Let's get into the three stars of today's game, if we could. Just skip that, all right. So, third star of the game, Nick Suzuki, two-goal night. Yep, he had that uh, deke. That fucking dude. Oh, Reeves, Jesus Christ, man. Second star, Jake Bean, one goal, two assists, and one hit. Yep, he got that, the game tying goal, I guess it would have been. And then the first star of today's game goes to Mike Hewitt with two goals and four hits. Oh, what a beautiful fucking one-timer by Mike Hewitt. That's why we put him on that second line with DeBrus, because then they're both, they can play both sides, and they're, they can always be set up for those one-timers. Florida... Uh, Vorbiov got hurt. Just best lines. It. It's fine. All right. Going up to game number three. Now we're at Edmonton. All right. We're at Edmonton. We're looking, we're looking to take the lead in the series. Start things off. All right. We're, we're start things off on a, on a rough row. I'm going to say some coincidental pot penalties happened, uh, happened there early scruff there early in game number three for that power play. Uh, but it doesn't look like anything's going to happen. Never mind the captain, Tomas Ertl, and then Jake DeBrusque going in the final couple minutes, scoring two goals for Seattle in the first. I thought it was going to be a quiet first period, but no. Hurdle and Vertanen comes out. What happened earlier to get the, those penalties? Holy fucking shit. Five on three right now for us. So earlier... 
uh, interference, followed by hooking, and then Sir and then Sergachev threw it out of play for a delay game. Oh my God! And now we're on a five on three power play. Oh my God! All right, five on three, boys. Let's go. Jump on. Let's go. Come on. We're up by two. I mean, I feel safe here. I just would like some more goals. Power play for Edmonton. Nothing happens there. Let's go. Defend the lead. Defend the league. If we had one more goal, I would feel super secure right now. And at the end of two, Kaylor Yamamoto scoring with 25 fucking seconds left. Making it a one-goal game. All right. So one goal game, shots are 22-21 in favor of Edmonton. Close game. I, I'm saying score one more, boys. Score one more for me, Seattle. There it is. There it is. Gerard going to score as a top six defenseman for us. Yes. Keep it going. Now defend it. Defend the lead. Bode wild. Tying a one goal game now. It's a one goal game. We're going to jump in. Four minutes, 13 seconds left. We're up by one. Are we going to defend it, extend it, or is it going to be a, a, a turnaround for Edmonton? All right, so here we are taking the face off. Let's go, boys. Galchenyuk tied up, but Gabrowski going to get it. Digging down the board, saucing it wide. Oh, the tipping in. Oh, we're going to extend the lead. Ooh, nice little saucer. Tips it on net. Five hole. Galchenyuk. Nice little re, re, like, nice little tip. Ooh, five hole. Right on by Binghamton. Fucking nice. Fucking nice. Stutzel over to Hurdle. Back to Stutzel. Stutzel skating in. Wide rebound for Tannen. Now scores. Oh my god. We're just walking in on them now. What the fuck? Pew pew. Two early goals. They're they're sleeping on us right now. At home, in front of their home crowd. They're about to get showed up late in the third. I'm telling you, the final the final five minutes you jump in, that's all you really need in an entire hockey game. So that's really all you really need. Stutzel, gonna lose it. Timmons walking in. Passing it wide, losing it, over to Vertanen. Vertanen over to Stutzel, Stutzel trying to get around the defenseman. Gets hit, losing it to McDavid. McDavid, wide to Dreisaitl. Dreisaitl is cutting in and out, gonna decide to take it down the left boards, cuts to the middle, shot is blocked, and Vosner is going to cover it up. For an Edmonton offensive zone faceoff, but they're down by three. All right, they're down by three right now. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough battling back here for sure. Stutzel tying him up. Vertanen over to Dalin. Dalin skating it up. Cuts to the middle. Gets poked out wide. Going in front of the goaltender. Losing it though thanks to a poke check. Timmons over to Malkin. Malkin passing it wide. Hit off that puck. And Krevichenko is going to get battled along the boards and over to Bouchard. Now down to Krevichenko, down to Timmons, low shot, wide. Galchenyuk over to Dalin. Dalin over to Galchenyuk, up to Hewitt. Hewitt hit off the puck, over to Bouchard. Bouchard to Malkin, Malkin to Lundell. Lundell over to Malkin. Malkin skates in, shot save. Malkin, one T save. Ooh, Lundell, Pedersen out front for a redeflect, no good. Hewitt, no, Bean over to Merkley. Merkley to DeBrusque, let's go Seattle. Kill the remaining 15 seconds. Even though we got the win, that, that was kind of a nice. Merkley, slap shot wide. Wild over to Kravichenko. Kravichenko hit, gets around defenseman. Final five seconds, Bean. 
just going to try to hold on to it. Malkin out front, blocked shot and Bean. Going to pass it over to Galchenyuk to end this one as we win game number three, five to two. nice that's nice that's a nice victory that's a secure victory for me all right that's a secure victory for us boys now we're going we're still in Edmonton all right we're coming off a really momentous momentum shifting win all right third star of the game Tomas Hurdle one goal two assists one hit second star Tim Stutzel with three assists and four hits and the first star of today's game Jake Vertanen two goals one assist and five hits Hit. So our first line, points galore today. Points galore. It's going to be good. I'm telling you. We got we got the momentum on our side. We're coming off a strong win. Edmonton, if Edmonton wins this next game, it it could mean a shift in momentum for them. And they could be, I think they'll wind up winning the series if they win this next game. If we win this next game in in Edmonton, I think we're we're going to win the series ultimately. All right, so just best lines it down here. Going into game number four. All right, game number four. Still in Edmonton. We have the lead, boys. Extend that lead. Get an early goal here. Come on. Halfway through the first. So far, it's been a quiet goaltending battle. Defense doing their thing. Neither team wanting to give an inch, but then Jake DeBrus managed to get one by Binghamton. And we take a one goal lead. Shots are tied 11 to 11. Whew, Jake DeBrusk, let's go. That's a nice win. That's a nice win. Let's go. Power play to Edmonton. Five on four. We we're able to kill that off. We still got a one goal lead right now. I'd want you to extend it, boys. Come on. Get one more before the before we get into the third. One more goal. One more goal, Seattle. Two, one, and nothing. So no one scoring in the second is a goaltending battle. 24-19 the shots. Neither goal Both goaltenders really keeping their team in it. It's offense. Offense is being held quiet today. Come on. Third period. This is where shit should start to get wild. One, Tomas Hurdle, power play goal, yes! And then Tim Stutzel gets a power play, uh, gets a regulation goal, power play again to us, nothing happens there. And it looks like we're going to be walking out of Edmonton, swoop, 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 goodbye, Alex Galchenyuk with a goal too, and we're taking game number four, four to nothing. Woohoo, Bosner with a shutout, nice job. Jake DeBrusque, one goal, one assist. Tim Stutzel, third star with one goal, one assist, and one hit. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Great performance. How about out east? Out east, Philly is up 3-1. to one. So, the, again, is that the team that we wanted to win? Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, Philly is the team that we wanted to win out east, and it's they're, they're winning. Mm. All right. Going on into game number five, we're back in Seattle. All right, Ilya Vorbiev best lines it. All right, we are back in Seattle. We are up 3-1 to one in the series. Philly has a chance to end it in Montreal, too. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Stemming on up past Edmonton. First period at home. This is our chance to end it. End the losing streak against Edmonton. Jake for Tannen going to score. There we go. Then Jake DeBrus going to score. The right wing duos of the first two lines. Shots are in our favor. We're up two to nothing at the end of the first. Shots are ten to eight in favor of us. This is it, boys. This is it. I can feel it. Just please, please. Let's go, Bosner. Come on, buddy. Hold down the fort. Second period. Jake for Tannen getting his second 
of today's game. Tomas Hurdle going to chip in as well, making a 4 nothing hockey game right now. From center ice, or was it Jake Rutanen from center ice? I think it was Tomas Hurdle from center ice. Wow, that's how you know it was was Vertanen. Vertanen just trying to dump it in, scoring on Jordan Binghamton. Oh, that's how you know this game is over when that happens. Third period, up four to nothing. Shots are twenty-five to eighteen. Power play, Seattle. That's killed off. Power play to Edmonton, and Nova Letsev's going to score a short. Handed goal. Connor McDavid going to get one for Edmonton. Power play Edmonton again. And the final five minutes. We'll jump in at the one minute mark just to watch the little celebration. Yeah, right there. So a minute 27. We'll jump in to watch the celebration. And I'm going to be quiet during the celebration, of course. Uh, so you guys can get a little bit more atmosphere. Watch that. The, the whole ceremony happen. It should be pretty quick. Um, and then what was I going to say? And then we'll, we'll jump in, see who wins that Eastern conference and who, who we're going to be taking on in the Stanley cup finals. All right. So here we are, Seattle in front of our fans, a minute 30 left. Stutzel wins it back to Merkley. Merkley over to Dahlin. Dahlin skating up himself. Stop, 1T, shot wide. Merkley hits off, gets hit off that puck. But Harvey hit off the puck as well, picking it up though. Going wide. Still with it, he's just going to dump it into Seattle zone. Final 40 seconds of play. Ryan Merkley over to Darlene. Darlene saucing to Vertanen, now over to Hurdle. Hurdle still with the puck. Wild's going to steal it though. Cutting back and forth now is Edmonton's defender. Bouchard, Rozlovic, Declare over to Paharvey. Paharvey out front to Rozlovic. Shot, save, Vosner. He passes out to Darlene to kill more time. Darlene's pass intercepted by Rozlovic. Over to Paharvey, who's pinned along the boards. DeBrusque now wide with it. He's going to have to carry it back. Final 10 seconds. All right, so the third star of today's game, Rasmus Dahlin, two assists, two hits. Second star, Tomas Hurdle, one goal, one assist, and one hit. And the first star of today's game, Jake Vertanen, two goals, one assist, and two hits. And once again, Seattle for the third year in a row, I believe. I believe this is our third year in a row winning the Western Conference, going to the Stanley Cup Finals. This is it. This is our road. And we're going to be taking on the Philadelphia Flyers. Oh, we're going to be taking on the Broad Street Bullies. I mean, to be fair, I believe I did say I would prefer to be playing Philadelphia over Montreal. Montreal had that fantastic goaltender in net, and I know how we simulate or play against goaltending so so far for the stats category for our team there is a tie tomas hurdle try to get one last con smythe maybe uh followed up by tim stutzel who's tied so that's a tie happening on that first line hurdle stutzel hurdle had a really good second round um 
Jake Vertanen, 16 points in 15 games played. And Rosmus Dahlin, 16 points in 15 games played as well. Ryan Merkley kind of slipped off there in that second round. A little unfortunate, but it's okay. Uh, Goaltending, Brandon Vosner right now playing great. 12-2-1 record. Uh, with one shutout, a .919 save percentage, and a 2.89 goals against average. Honestly, with those numbers, I wouldn't be surprised if Vosner gets uh, MVP over anyone, regardless of if they're above a point per game or not. I don't think there's a big enough difference or in games played to points to not give it over to Vosner. Um, Vosner probably will get con Smythe. If we wind up winning up to an 86, we did assign him to a contract extension. So we have him for two more years. And then that final year, uh, he'll, he'll still be a restricted free agent for us. That That's what restricted free agency is really for us. We, we get him up to their final year. Um, and that's when we decide, hey, do we want to sign him long term? Do we want to just cut him off? But taking the Broad Street Bullies into the next one, we'll take another look at their roster and their lineup um, in the next one as well. Uh, but until next time, guys, see you later. Bye-bye.